So if this equilibrium lies in the direction of the weaker acid-base pair, we're going to have to be able to determine which pair that is. So how do you decide who the stronger acid is? Well, if you're lucky enough to have a pKa table, you can use that. Or perhaps you can predict that yourself, and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this lesson, is looking for features that affect the acidity and make something a stronger acid or a weaker acid. Okay, but here's an example. Let's say we have water acting as an acid and ammonia acting as a base. Let's see what that proton transfer reaction would look like. Okay, the acid donates one of its protons to the base, so our mechanism is the base grabs the hydrogen, leaves the electrons behind on the oxygen. So what does water look like after it has been deprotonated or has donated a proton? We only have HO with three lone pairs. And that means we have an O minus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oxygen only wants six, so we have an extra electron there. So that's the conjugate base. And what does the conjugate acid of ammonia look like? It is, instead of NH3, it's going to be NH4. So you could just draw it as NH4, or I can draw it out to show uh, the new hydrogen for emphasis. And that's also going to be charged. This nitrogen has one, two, three, four bonds, four electrons, it wants five. So this is going to be N plus. We're going to get this ammonium NH4 plus. So if we took a look at this equilibrium and asked in which direction does the equilibrium lie? Does it lie in the forward direction or the reverse direction? What we can do is we can look up the pKa's of the two competing acids. In the forward reaction, water, that has a pKa of about 16. In the reverse reaction, the ammonium is the acid, and that has a pKa of about 9. Now what is the relationship between pKa and acidity? They have an inverse relationship. The lower the pKa, the higher the acidity. Let's, re let's remember that. The lower the pKa, the higher the acidity, the stronger the acid. So a pKa of 9 is a stronger acid, and a pKa of 16 is a weaker acid. So wh what do we, where, do we, where does the equilibrium lie? It lies in the direction of the weaker acid-base pair, so it's going to be going from the stronger acid to the weaker acid. The equilibrium lies to the left is one way to describe that. You could also say that the reverse reaction is favored. Okay, and, and we can make that conclusion simply by comparing the two acids. Now, we said that it's going to be the weaker acid-base pair, and it turns out that once you've identified who the stronger acid is, that's also going to tell you something about the conjugate bases. Okay, if this, if ammonium has a pK of 9, this is the stronger acid, its conjugate base is going to be the weaker conjugate base. Because the, an acid and its conjugate base also have an inverse relationship. A stronger acid has a weaker conjugate base. The weaker acid water has the stronger conjugate base. So once we identify the weaker on one side of the acid, it will always correspond with the weaker base being on that same side. So we don't have to compare both the acids and the bases. We just need to find a difference in one or the other, and that should be enough to answer our question. <clears throat> well, we can just kind of mention here the stronger acid has the weaker conjugate base. And the weaker acid has the stronger conjugate base. So you can see how we ended up labeling those two bases. Okay, so this is how we can decide uh, the direction of an acid-base equilibrium.